Hello everybody, it is Monica Zanz with Riff, Rant, and Rave, where thoughts matter, spit flies, and love lifts us up where we belong. I'm Monica Zanz, as you may know, and if this is the first time that you're here, welcome, really glad to have you. I am working out the new landscape feature, super excited about the latest and greatest on Periscope. The landscape feature is awesome because now when you upload to YouTube, you can actually help. So, here is the deal. I'm Monica Zanz, I'm a business consultant and a life coach. I spend time with people all day long. I'm coaching them, I'm learning from them, I'm watching them, I'm giving them feedback, I'm listening to what they're looking for, what they're excited about. So if you're new to the show, I bet you that there are things in your life that you love, that you hate, or that you just think about constantly. Things that you may have questions about, things that you're wondering, or things that you are on your soapbox about daily, wanting people to understand the opportunity for them to step more fully into who they are, are to be a contribution. So in this version of Riff Rant Rave, I am talking about a rant because I am working with people and sometimes I find that people are so committed to their complaints, I don't understand it. So we're going to talk a little bit about complaining today. Who has ever complained? Go ahead and tap the screen, give a little bit of hearts and share your love for people around you that may need that extra love because you find that they are complaining type of people. In today's episode, we're going to talk about complaining. We're going to talk about how do you break through when people are doing a lot of complaining? How do you actually deal with that? How do you help people stop the complaints or actually see a new perspective, see through a new lens? So I have a whole conversation that I usually do where I'm encouraging people how do you look at life through a different lens than the complaint that may be a consistent complaint that you have about people, about life, about work, about money, whatever it may be. So if you have something that you complain about, go ahead and type it in down below just so that I can get a sense of what are some of the things that you're hearing about or that you yourself find yourself complaining about. I saw that we have Rachel that joined, welcome. If you're brand new, just so you know, type in the word love and your name and where you're from. I love seeing where people are calling from. We've had some people from Brazil, I've had people from Russia, I've had people from Hong Kong, I've had people from all over the place tuning in, just surprising who's on Periscope and who Periscope is finding. So if you're there, go ahead and share what are some of the common complaints that you hear? And then we're gonna jump into the show all about ranting about how to shift your mindset when you're around people that complain or circumstances where you find a lot of complaining going on. All right, well, well I'm gonna move on into the show. I noticed that a few people have joined us, but I know that a lot of people when they join may be doing additional things. So, in the realm of complaining, here's one of the things that I recommend. Whenever you're around someone who tends to be a negative Nelly, a Debbie Downer, one of those people you know, if you could have the sound effect, it would be like wah, wah, wah. Um, if, you can, if you can listen to what they're saying and consistently play a game with yourself, what would be the reverse of that? What would be the positive of that? What would be the opportunity? Not for them to change, but so that you could really reflect on why am I hearing what they have to say? Why is this being reflected to me at this time? Because a lot of times people don't realize when they're inside of a negative reality or a negative perspective, or they they complain a lot, they don't actually realize that they're doing it. So us playing a game energetically can shift the conversation and not have the typical they need to prove why they're right and maybe it can open up the conversation to a completely new way of talking. In addition, there are a lot of ways to help people recognize that their complaints might just need a little perspective change or a shift. So some of the ways that I like to do that is I challenge people with a lot of questions. Questions I find are the way to have people think about what they're saying without directly telling them your opinion or your thoughts. Because sometimes people that are complainers, they're not even open to hearing feedback. But if we ask questions, then they themselves can start hearing themselves speak can start paying attention to what they mean or what they're saying. And sometimes that actually helps someone step out of their consistent mind games or the voices that are inside their head. I did a morning daily meditation this morning on the untethered soul and inside of that book it talks a lot about the voices that are inside our heads and how sometimes we listen to the voices and think they're us but actually those voices are not really us. They're a representation of 
consciousness and they are not the truth. They're simply a representation of either a perception, a judgment, an experience of where we're at. So if we wanted, we could actually create a completely new experience by shifting what we're listening to in our own heads. When we hear the complaining, we usually hear it before we speak it out of our mouth. So when we hear it, we can actually fundamentally change the way we're looking at something by shifting our perspective. If you've ever heard of the um, conversation, people that are depressed people, depression is not really something that, um, you know, there's a clinical term for it and it was derived very much from the pharmaceutical companies in order to be able to treat and diagnose. But really, there are many physical activities that one can do that can combat the experiences or the signs and symptoms of depression. So for example, when the human body is standing in an upright position, when your chin is an upward and you're marching with a smile on your face, like a forced smile, then you can actually shift the way that you experience something. So that is a, is a really great way to engage with a negative person, with a negative thought inside of yourself, and it helps you decipher, oh my gosh, if this is how I'm being run, if this is something that I am constantly finding myself either around, which is a great reflection for you, or finding myself doing, then tapping into how can I engage a new conversation, a new voice in my head. So sometimes that's gonna be changing your physiology. So standing upright, marching around the room, changing the position of your head. The other thing that you might consider doing is going outside and going for a run, exerting yourself in a certain kind of way, getting endorphins and hormones going. In many cases, people have not gotten the oxygen flow in their body. So that can also encourage a certain level of complaining and a certain level of upset. So if you have any examples of things that you have heard people complain about, that you have a rant about, that you have something that um, absolutely peeves you off in the realm of negative people or complaints, go ahead and type that in to the show right now. When there are, um, there's a bunch of people in Periscope. This is the one thing about Periscope that I really hope in the next adjustment that they're going to fix. There's a lot of times that people are scoping, but they're scoping from their computers. And so unfortunately, you can't see their comments. So usually when they go back and they watch the replay, you'll see them give a bunch of hearts and you'll see them interact and engage. But otherwise, you see that there are users on your screen, but they're not necessarily engaging. So for now, this is a really great topic that we're talking about. We're talking about complaining because complaining is something that I have a rant about because I get tired of people that get stuck inside of their circumstances and think they're run by their circumstance and complain and complain and complain and don't recognize that that complaining keeps attracting the same experience that they're in. So how can you deal with a complaint, how can you deal with a negative environment, a negative person? Well, part of it is don't surround yourself with negative people if that's not lighting you up. Another part of it is if you're around a lot of negativity or complaining, what is that reflecting about you? Is there something for you to learn or something for you to see? Because if the universe is reflecting something, it's an opportunity for us to look at ourselves. And then lastly, if you are around those people, what is it that you can do to shift perspective, shift perception of something? So I highly recommend that as you embark on creatively engaging a complainer, come up with a list of questions that you might ask someone that might switch their mindset, change their pattern, change their behavior, change their experience in the moment, and then that will help you uh, engage in a completely new conversation. That is today's episode of Riff, Rant, and Rave. I'm excited for you to join us next week. Every Thursday we have Riff, Rant, Rave. Tomorrow we have a very special treat. I love Fridays because it's all about living freely. It's Freedom Fridays and it's all about how do we create freedom in our life. Last, last week we talked about emotional freedom and we talked about how do you deal with insomnia. So tomorrow we're going to talk about freedom again and it'll be the five points on how to elevate mindset to authentically express oneself and live a very free life. Tell your friends, tell people that you know. I'm Monica and remember, see your greatness, be your greatness and pay it forward. 
I will talk to you very soon. Tune into The Daily Inspiration at 7.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time and tomorrow evening at 5.30 Pacific Time for Freedom Friday. Have a great night, everybody. Mwah!